Now I was realizing after I put this little uh, mushroom vent into the pin vise that uh, it wasn't the worst one. But they all need to be sort of sanded down. Uh, these mushroom vents for some reason were fastened differently onto the sprue and when I tried to cut them off with the cutters um, yeah it, uh, it just did not come off good so see if I can't just uh, sand that down wonder if the file would be better no I think the probably the medium sanding stick would be the best now this one actually isn't too bad I want to be careful here when I go across that I don't get it out of round no matter what I do here I'm going to have to repaint so don't want to put too much pressure on and break it off the, the where it's connected on in the pin vise now you can see it's yeah it's sort of working there whoops At least we're getting the, what you might say was the burr. Now that, that dark part that you see right there, just let me look in the monitor make sure I haven't bumped it. Oh, you still see it. See the dark part right in the center there? That's, that's where the connection actually was. And when I nipped it off, it, uh, it just did not nip off right. It was almost like there was an, an air pocket or something there. Whoops. Okay, maybe I'll brace it a little bit. Try and keep this uh, sanding stick flat. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that now. Brush it off a little bit, see what we got here. Yeah, I think that'll be a big improvement once it's painted. I'm just going to do the other two the same way. Now I got kind of curious here. Why is it that that piece where the sprue was connected appears to have a hole in it? And looking at it closely, the nearest I can tell is that when the sprue, or when the, yeah, when the injection uh, was cooling, it didn't cool all the way, and it didn't get a chance to collapse around its void. Um, I do believe these are vacuum-injected pieces. Uh, you, do you remember when I was down in the workshop and I was uh, uh, stabilizing punky wood and I was using a vacuum chamber to uh, to, to, uh, to, to get the uh, um, resin uh, in, inside the punky wood? Uh, well, I think it works much the same way. I believe that the, that the uh, mold uh, for, is under a vacuum and then the molten plastic goes in there and then it just completely collapses. And I think that possibly, in, in this case, it uh, they pulled the mold apart, or or maybe the um, the things weren't hot enough, in other words, or possibly it wasn't under a complete vacuum. Uh, anyway, it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint these little uh, mushroom vents by hand here. Um, yeah, with a little with my smallest paintbrush here and. And I'll use the same paint that I used yesterday for uh, when I sprayed it. I am going to paint the hull of the of the uh, little boat so uh, with the uh, airbrush. I sort of got shamed into it, you might say. Uh, I know it's a lot better. I just didn't want to go to the extra work of having to clean the airbrush up, but uh, why not, right? Um, okay, let me put the macro lens on, and we'll move her and, and uh, see if we can't touch this up just a little bit here. I'm just going to sort of flood it on here. I'm going to trust that when the uh, paint evaporates, it's going to sort of close around the all the areas.
layers that looks like I made it too thick. Okay, one more. Okay, let's just leave well enough alone here. It is exactly 48 hours ago that we put the battery charger on the car battery. I have not checked it. Let's go check it. I'll take you along with me just for the fun of it. Uh, yeah, I hope this isn't going to be too boring for some of you, but uh, anyway, you'll get to see, uh, uh, oh, for those of you in Australia or having a heat wave right now, this white stuff, I'll uh, gladly box some up and send it to you. You just pay the shipping. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, it's a nice mild day here. It's, uh, it's, plus, it's plus one Celsius at the moment, uh, and for the end of uh, November, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, anyway, this uh, little uh, battery uh, charger that we put on, it's got, uh, what was it, five different modes. If it's flashing red, that means that it's, uh, uh, the battery charger is plugged in. If it's solid red, it means it's charging. If it's uh, solid green, that means it's charged up and it's uh, doing something. And if it's flashing green, that means it's just maintaining. So we'll see what we got here. Well, it's pretty obvious that we've got a solid green. Uh, it might be a little hard to see. I realized that that camera did not autofocus. Uh, well, that's the way it goes. Now, just a point of interest here. I did go back outside a little later and I checked the voltage. And the battery was 13.76 volts. So it's, you may as well say, right up. I've concluded that there's nothing wrong with my volt ohm meter. Remember a couple of days ago I couldn't get a reading when the battery charger was connected to that small battery? Well, I concluded that the uh, battery charger was probably pulsing the current or varying it up and down, and the, uh, ohm, the ohm meter or the voltmeter uh, just couldn't calculate it and give us a steady reading. I think, the, I think it's working okay.
about half an hour has passed here now. Got everything all cleaned up and I got this thing sitting on the rotator here and hopefully we can get a sort of a close look. Not as good as the macro lens, but yeah, there's there's no question about it. The airbrush does a much better job. Let me position the other one and see what we can do here. It looks pretty much the same. Now, I think that's it for today, folks. Saturday, November the 28th, 2020. Thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.